Annyeonghaseyo. Hi, Mitchell James calling. Welcome back to NJT Reviews. It's K time. And in this video, I'm reacting to NCT 127 Highway to Heaven. Take two. <laughs> I have tried so many times because currently I'm doing a thing where I uh, kind of screen capture my computer to do like these Eurovision virtual parties and so I hook my sound up to the computer sound and it's always a pain something happens when I hook it back up to uh, my microphone it errors all the time so I've done now now I've done four MV reactions where the mic has been muted and I really thought last time doing the NCT 127 one that it wasn't muted like I could see my microphone moving but it didn't record the audio so i'm really annoyed at that um, i'm going to do a few kind of second impressions so i literally just reacted to that and then did a daniel kang reaction which you can check that out as well and you can subscribe to my other angry reactions and now i'm coming back to react to nc217 highway to heaven again so I've decided that you can see my second reaction. I can't remember a lot of the song, but I have some notes and I might pick up some new things as we go along. So yeah, I'm just giving you a fair warning. I have already seen it and this is my second reaction. Yet it's going to be still an, an organic reaction. So let's see. Okay. And reacting in arm to say go. Yes. Okay, I remember this location they use so many times in MVs. It's crazy, especially SM Entertainment. Come in, come in. Keep it going. Cool. It has a very kind of, the start of it has like a kind of 80s soft rock sound to it. Like, everybody. Mixed with like obviously a dance kind of club sound. This is a lot more contemporary. And then it does this chorus, which is very like explosive, but still has that kind of 80s soft rock sound to it. The first kind of vibe I got from hearing this was high, um, Life is a Highway. Not just because of the, the very similar lyrics, but musically it's similar as well, mel melodically as well. And then you've got this rapping section which doesn't really go with that. I don't like them wearing all white. Monster X had a song last year, Jealousy, where they wore for a part of it all white. All white symbolizes innocence uh, by, by seeing them wear all white you as an audience know that they're good boys without knowing them I love that it kind of segues into this explosiveness it's definitely got that kind of anthem sound which is maybe where I'm getting that 80s soft rock sound and I think that they purposely like you know it's unapologetically this kind of explosive anthem and definitely a road anthem this is a roadie song it's all about highway highway to heaven you could drive on route 66 i could drive to queensland we're well, not me personally i can drive but you know i, I play shotgun i play the song yeah it's it's really kind of generic it's written in a very generic way nothing special about the song i love i love that high note and i love how the high note kind of fades out still being held yeah it's really cool yeah this chorus the melodic the melody highway to heaven we'll take the highway to heaven 
just very eat candy, very, um, very uh, sticks in your ear. What am I trying to say? It's very catchy. Nothing special about this MV at all. And it's funny, I always think I'm kind of weirded out by SM Entertainment MVs in daylight. I'm like, that's not right. You guys can't be in broad daylight. You have to be in a box. I'm still not used to that. Yeah, so it's, it's interesting. Um, really nice qualities. Obviously, I love the how it goes into that, that explosive chorus. And like I said, it reminds me of 80s soft rock vibe. But I think it's just got that kind of roadie anthem to it. And I, I think it's appealing to anyone. I think it's appealing to anyone outside of K-pop could hear this on the radio and they wouldn't know it's a K-pop. These are the people that would listen to this and like it would probably be surprised that they've liked a K-pop song. Like, oh, I like the K-pop song. And this was written not by K-pop fans at all. This was written for a mainstream, definitely American market audience which I know SM is really trying hard with NCT to be their crossover artist, kind of like competing with BTS. SM has tried this crossover appeal before with uh, Girls' Generation and failed. Maybe they are taking lessons that they learned from that failure and putting it into NCT, definitely going a different kind of uh, route in, in marketing NCT to the Western market and yeah uh interestingly with this song like i said it's got a real anthem sound the whole song's in english by the way um i prefer listening to the korean versions of songs even um that song uh, regular i always listen to the korean version never the english version i find it a lot more authentic and, and interesting uh but I, I will say that this could be sung by anyone this sounds like a song kind of written not for k-pop it was written really for radio western radio and they've kind of just put it in the publishing vault and uh sm has asked you know for us the the publisher like what's a what's a song in the vault that's just very generic pop like i reckon they could have given this song to the wanted and the wanted could have del delivered it exactly the same way as nct one to seven and i hate to say it like one direction could have sung the song it would have been produced the exact same way there is nothing unique and that's what i'm going to say this song is great and it's performed well and sung well but like i can't believe and i know this is different because it was an nctu but seventh sense like when you look at nct performing seventh sense and even cherry bomb and that one is like um da 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 oh no that song like i can't believe that it's the same group sing this because it doesn't all that identity has been stripped away in this song their personality is not in this song None, nothing that is NCT, even NCT 127, is in this song. It's so generic. And I think that's kind of a bad thing. Uh, maybe they've decided just to do this to win over the mainstream market in America and all that, and then they're going to be, like, slipping in more NCT-ness. I could kind of approve of that, <laughs> but... I mean, I don't know. Don't you just want to be yourself and, and see if it sticks? And if it doesn't, you know, bow out? I don't know. I really don't know. But, yeah, English-wise, I think the, the diction was perfect. It was fine. It was great. It definitely was not Boa standards in 2005 or 2009. I can't remember. When, when was Eat You Up? I'll eat you up. Anyway, um, yeah, they're very they're very good with the English now. They they've learned a lot, but 
Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I, I, it's kind of a shame that they've stripped back all their personality. Um, nothing of NCT is in this song. It's just very generic boy band. But it's an anthem. And it's definitely a song people will play when they're driving. And it's definitely a song you could hear anywhere, really. But um, I don't know if people will remember NCT for it or if they'll just know this song or if the song will just fade into obscurity. I really don't know. There's not much specialness um, apart from the fact that it's got a hooky chorus. I loved um, kind of some of the production, like like I said, the note being held and fading out, but a lot of the production to this was very generic. Um, I heard in the bridge, um, he sings the vocals, one of the singers, and then the backing singers were sung an octave higher, which is just such a typical K-pop thing to do at the moment. And it's actually a, um, a production quality that I'm not liking because it's just so overused now that I don't like that at all. So I kind of get irritated when I hear that, especially in the bridge. I probably wouldn't mind it in like a middle section or a coda, but I'm hearing it a lot as a bridge and um, I'm kind of getting irritated by that in the verses. But yeah, so a lot of specialness not in this. Um, I liked the segue like between the bridge and the chorus, like digga, 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 digga. Uh, but yeah, we'll take the highway to heaven. Yeah, it's, and it's, it actually sounds like a combination of, like, I hate to say it, just those kind of songs, you know. Like I said, I was getting Life as a Highway. It definitely has that Southern American appeal as well, which, like I said, um, I said in the last video as well that we, how I said the song is very generic sounding, but BTS, I hate to, to compare because I know people who, and CTs are biased, get irritated, but um, BTS, you know, they, they have this crossover appeal and for sure they've definitely honed in on that American sound and the songs are more American sounding and also Southern American as well, like they <laughs> I can't be so in tune, but you know, um, DNA, do, 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 like that's, that's kind of like, you know, you've got some line dancing sound to that and that's the kind of sound that will win you over in the american market and so this is about like a highway on the desert like this is so middle american sounding and they know that that's the sound but what i was going to say is bts has all has maintained that bts identity sound um well i think they have kind of lost a bit of their originality and kind of gone more generic they're still there this, they've just completely scraped everything NCT out of the song. So, yeah. But, I mean, if this comes on the radio, I'd be like, turn it up, turn it up. I'm sure if I was in that kind of mood. Yeah, but uh, I still can't believe that. This is the same group as saying Cherry Bomb, Seventh Sense. Uh, my first last, was it? Like, and you know, we go up, um, and, and now this song, like, it's just, it's really, you know, if I knew that, if I didn't know they were doing this market crossover appeal, I would say that this is a really lazy approach to an entry, but they probably actually worked the hardest to zap everything about the map. Anyway, I've spoken for too long now. Subscribe to see more reactions, and if there's a reaction you want me to react to, you can request it because I'm actually only reacting to, I've, I'm an active K-pop uh, fan since 2011 now. So I'm reacting to artists that I know I have a general interest in and appreciation for. And I may not like their songs still, but I'm, that's kind of what I'm basing it off. I'm not just reacting to any old thing anymore. But if there's an MV you want me to really react to that may not be on my radar, comment below and I may react to it. And I can react to other global music videos as well. And until next time, then some is out on you. Thanks so much for watching and goodbye. Who will make the cut? Who will win our hearts? MJT Review.